Question number eight, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Order. <laughs> Mr Speaker. Order. My Order. Que the Honourable Trevor Mallard. My question is to the Minister responsible for the Housing, housing New Zealand Corporation. Is he satisfied that the resources allocated to Housing New Zealand are being used in the best possible way? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, yes, generally, although they can always do better. <coughs> Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Order. Supplementary question, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Why does Housing New Zealand require tenants to seek the permission of tenancy managers before putting up a blow-up paddling pool in their backyards? <laughs> the Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, the member may be referring to a Housing New Zealand campaign called the Summer Safety Campaign. Uh, like all other landlords, it has to comply with the law. And the law says that pools over, I think, 400 millimetres deep uh, need to be dealt with properly. And they, Housing New Zealand advised me uh, they make no apology uh, for the fact that they are now trying to comply with the law and their children in their houses will be safer as a result. Order. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. I seek leave to table uh, the Housing New Zealand newsletter, which went to tenants, indicating that they had to apply for permission for paddling pools under the 400 leave us sort, uh, the in, documents as the Minister indicated. The, leaders, uh, the documents have been described. Leave us sought to table that particular newsletter. Is there any objection? There is none that can be tabled. Su order. Supplementary question, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Does he think that on-site inspection of each blow-up paddling pool for which permission has been sought, which I am assured by the Hutt Valley Management of Housing New Zealand occurs, is the best use of Housing New Zealand staff time? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, it's Housing New Zealand are in the best position to make the decisions about, in the first place, compliance with the law, uh, secondly, making sure they keep, keep track of the updates in the law, because the, the pool fencing law is being changed, and I understand the members' parties opposing that, uh, and thirdly, they need to conduct themselves as a responsible landlord regarding the safety of their tenants. Question, order. 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 Before I call the member to ask further supplementaries, can I ask for a little more cooperation so that we can hear the answers that are being given without the continual carping coming from a few members to my left? The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Would Housing New Zealand staff time be better used sorting out the case that I've known of for two years of... A point of order. The questioner can use a visual aid. Not anyone else? Well, at this, no, it, it should only be held up by the member asking I, the question. I apologise. I'll start again, but, Mr. Speaker. But we'll hear the question first. Order. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Would Housing New Zealand staff... Order. Order. I ask for quiet on the left-hand side when the question is being answered. I expect silence on the right-hand side when the question is being asked. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Mr Speaker, would Housing New Zealand staff time be better used sorting out the case that I've known of for two years of my constituent who lived in a water-damaged, mouldy state unit with no power? The Honourable, the Honourable Bill English. Order. The question's been asked. The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, <clears throat> I'm advised by Housing New Zealand they are having some challenge verifying the members' uh, assertions. It's certainly well outside... Uh, <clears throat> the circumstances he describes, of course, are well outside policy. If there's any mould alerted or water damage in a house uh, where ill health is involved, it's expected to be fixed within 12 hours. Otherwise... 
Other order. Orders within... Order. Other order. No, I'm sorry to interrupt. I asked for cooperation. The next interjection I get while the answer is being given, the member will be leaving the chamber. The Honourable Bill Leonard. Otherwise, within 10 days. And I might also say that uh, often when these cases up, what is left, what is left when these cases are brought up, what's left out is a tenant is often refusing access. Housing New Zealand can only deal with these problems if tenants enable access. And I would hope that in, if the member's case turns out to be genuine, uh, that the tenant will enable access because he can be sure that the problem will be fixed. Order. Order. I've given enough warnings. I now... Order. I give a very specific warning to Grant Robinson. Point of order, the Honourable... Mr Speaker, it's long been accepted in this House it's different to interject between questions than it is during an answer. Order. And that interjection order. from my colleague Grant Robertson didn't fall within the scope of your earlier ruling nor normal rulings. The member should become more familiar with standing orders. <laughs> order. Interjections should be... Um, uh, in fact, are not allowed. I allow them. I'm, I'm re relatively genuine... Uh, and uh, accommodating to allow a little bit of atmosphere during question time. But when I have called the member to ask a supplementary question and the interjection continues, particularly when I've been on my feet too often this afternoon trying to get some cooperation, then I have issued a warning which I will not hesitate to carry out if it need be. I hope that's not the case. The Honourable Trevor Mallard, supplementary question. Does he think it is reasonable for Housing New Zealand to relocate tenants from above this unit and do that flat up, on both sides of this unit and do this flat up, and leave the tenant in this flat from 2014 without power until February this year? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I, I must say to the member that given his description of those activities, uh, there's something interesting, if not tricky, about this particular case if the circumstances are as he outlines. Because in the expenditure of some $300 million in the last, in fact, oh, more than that, in improving and lifting the quality of housing New Zealand houses, it seems to me very unlikely that a cooperative, uh, informative tenant was left without power for two years in the middle of units that have otherwise been done up uh, sitting in a mouldy home for two years. That seems to me worthy of much more description of what might have gone on. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table two f photographs of a unit in which this government failed its duty order, of care to their order, tenant. Order. I don't need the description that's been given. I assume the member seeking leave to table the two photographs that he's used as visual aids through the... I certainly am, sir. Yes. I will put the leave. Leave us sort to take... Point of order... No, you yeah. don't like these points of order, but it would help the House enormously if we were to know that uh, the photographs would be verifiable by an address being put on them. Right. Of order, Mr Speaker. Uh, the Housing New Zealand are aware of the address. They were aware of it in February. I order... This matter is easily resolved for me. I will put the leave and the House will decide. Leave a sort to table those particular photographs. Is there any objection to them being tabled? There is objection. Order. Oh. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mayer. Uh, Mr Speaker, I seek uh, leave of the House to table a file note on the case indicating the names of the two Housing New Zealand officials who visited this flat in February. The source of the file note? It's, it's my, my file note of the case. Order. Order. Well, Order. Ms. No, no, no. The document's been described. I will put the leave and the House will decide. Leave is sought to table that particular file note. Is there any objection? There is. <laughs> Supplementary question, Derek Hall. <laughs> Supplementary to the Order. Minister. Order. Again, I've called Derek Hall. Thank you, sir. Supplementary to the Minister. Will he support New Zealand First's one strike and you're out for life policy for tenants who contaminate their state homes with pee? Or is he happy with current government process 
that those tenants can be back in another state house to contaminate it within 12 months of being evicted. That's right. The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the question would be better directed to the Minister of Social Housing, but we do have concern about the uh, significant number of P contaminated houses. It's grown rapidly. Uh, in the handover of stock to the Tamaki Redevelopment Company tomorrow, for instance, it turns out 17 of those houses are contaminated with P and therefore unable to be occupied. And I think it illustrates the challenge of dealing with some of our uh, reckless, irresponsible and criminal tenants. Uh, so we would con I'm sure the government would consider support for firmer measures for dealing with such tenants. Question number nine, 